Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on August the 17th, 2016, a Wednesday here in Shanghai, China. This video today is talking about keywords and ASO on Google Play specifically, and the process of that and also the keyword tool that we've recently uh, just developed, which is now being tested with the Pro Section members on the forum and also on the YouTube channel, the pro section of the YouTube channel as well. Uh, but I'm doing this also as a preview video on the free channel because eventually this tool uh, hopefully will be open to everybody and uh, anyone on the free channel, anyone on the internet can sign up and subscribe to it. So uh, just to explain, so before I actually dive into this tool, so we've just done an FPS shooting game, uh, the first version, we just released version one quickly in two weeks. Uh, we're going to be doing updates to it and we're going to be hopefully improving the game and the uh, ASO uh, app store optimization through keywords as well. And one of the processes for finding keywords goes like this. So you use the search suggestion tool from Google Play. Uh, and for example, this game is called FPS. If you type in FPS, it gives you five auto suggestions which other people on Google Play have searched for. So we know that the most popular search is the one at the top for FPS, which is just FPS on its own. Then people have also searched for FPS multiplayer, FPS online, and as you go down the list, the one at the bottom is the one that's the least searched for. But it shows you that these are the ones that people are actually typing into Google Play. So you'll notice like, you know, maybe last month or whatever, uh, Pokemon, uh, two months ago, three months ago, Pokemon Go was not being uh, searched for because it wasn't available, nobody knew about it, there was no marketing, but now it's available and it's open. You can see Pokemon Go, if you just type in one letter P, is the highest, you know, most popular search. So this is how we do ASO and this is how we find out what uh, people are searching for so that we can use those keywords in our description or our keywords list on iTunes or Amazon or any other app store. Uh, but the second part of that puzzle though is actually figuring out which ones to use based on how much competition there is. So if I just go down and, and search for FPS, the problem is here, uh, if I click on, well, it's got uh, collections there, but if I click on see more under popular results, for FPS there's probably gonna be 250 search results, which is the maximum amount of results that can appear in a uh, Google Play search. It won't go any any higher than that. So that's really competitive. That's super competitive. Uh, it's very hard to climb up to the top ranks of a popular search on the store, it, only using organic downloads. You know, so it's it's one technique that marketers and ASO people do is they try to find long tail keywords. Now, long tail keywords will help you to rank, but you need to try to rank for as many long tail keywords as you possibly can without obviously seeming to, looking like you're stuffing keywords into your description. So it's not an easy task. You have to try and get as many possible combinations of keywords in there uh, to rank for as many of the search suggestions as possible, but without getting flagged by Google because that will risk your account and that's really bad. So if I type in FPS again, uh, let me try FPS multiplayer. And you can see what I would do, this is what I'd do normally in, in a game, is I'd go down the FPS uh, list I think of some keywords like FPS, uh, first person shooter, shooting games, uh, run and gun games, maybe something like that. Uh, and I'll go down the list and I'll click on the search and then see how many search results there are. And I know for this one for sure there's going to be over 250. Uh, just because FPS is a very popular genre, uh, it's very, um, uh, there's been a lot of games already created in this genre. And there's games in this list that aren't exactly FPS either, even though most of them are. but. Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, a lot is a lot of competition. So, and then the next thing I'll do again is I'll go to the next the next one, and I'll type in FPS online, and I'll go down and I'll scroll down, and I'll see if there's 250 in this one or less. All of that takes a lot of time. Uh, not only do I have to like go through each of the five suggested keywords, but I then have to scroll down all the way and try and find, you know, oh, is this going to be a, a, a very competitive search result or is this going to be one which only has say 30 in which case I might be able to rank high uh, or is it a new one a, a new popular search result uh, which doesn't have much competition at all at the moment so you know all of that takes a lot of time so what we did is uh, with a developer friend of mine is we developed a keyword tool which does this automatically 
because this can really take a long time. I, you know, actually searching down and you've got to go through all of the keywords and it's, it can be a pain. So for example here, this is our tool, this is version one. Uh, it still has a lot of work and we've still got a lot of ideas, but we wanted to release an early version first as a kind of like closed version only to the pro members in the uh, pro section and only to the uh, uh, on the YouTube pro channel as well. But you can see what I've done here is I've typed in FPS space asterisk in, in the search bar. And what that does is that shows me all of the results for not only uh, um, FPS, but also for FPS plus A, FPS B, C, all the way down. And it shows me the competition count as well. So on the left side, it shows me the suggested search. It then grabs that suggested search, goes to Google and then finds out how much competition that suggested search has. And you can see here, it's slowly building up. So I can see there's a, there's a crash, uh, Crisis Action FPS Esports. In fact, I'm going to highlight that one because that might be something that we can use later. Uh, and it's showing me all of the the um, the list here. And that's just happening automatically. I can go away. It does take a little bit of time to fill this list because the retrieving the results from Google does take time. It doesn't happen instantly. We're working on a way to make that faster for sure. Uh, but uh, it's really, it's giving me some good results there. FPS Paintball. Maybe we can do that, you know, um, without seeming like we're stuffing keywords. We could say something like, you know, people who like games like Halo or Paintball will really enjoy this game, something like that, you know. So it is a relevant keyword. We're not putting in Pokemon Go or something, you know. Uh, Hellgate London FPS. Uh, getting the word Hellgate and London in there might be difficult, so maybe not. Uh, multiplayer FPS Battle Showdown, only 32 results. So that's.